According to a statement, the Department of National Defense will strive to accelerate the current modernization program for our armed forces of the Philippines, including conducting an analysis to determine which projects should be prioritized, our Defense Secretary Gilberto Teodoro Jr. said. In an interview, Teodoro asserted that the review is currently at a critical point because if it lasts, it is more likely that the price of the equipment and platforms that the AFP is looking for will increase which in our opinion is a very good move, RDND further told Secretary the slower they finish their review of the purchase of equipment and assets, the more expensive the equipment for the armed forces, he added. Day and night to try to establish our own systems and whatever capabilities we can get from our treaty partners and other allies, he said even trying to integrate it into interoperable systems, the critical, very critical obtained today, he added. Therefore, Teodoro hopes that the review will be completed by the end of the year needed for security, the Secretary of National Defense also ordered, not just the rehorizoning of our modernization program but to look really into our strategy of defense of our country. So now we are looking at the change in our strategic direction when it comes to the defense of the archipelago because our modernization program also depends on the change of our strategy, he said. Our leader also said, of armed forces of the Philippines, which is Romeo Bronner that the AFP is committed to defense defense covering nine features, occupied by the Philippines, according to the Asia Maritime Transparency Initiative, the Philippines occupies a total of nine features in the Spratly Islands. It said that the two island, it is said, boasts of the Philippines' only airstrip in the Spratlys, as RDND secretary said that procurements should really be accelerated in our AFP we should agree because we don't know if what steps will China take especially with their aggressive movement in the West Philippine Sea, we are not saying that the Philippines has prepared for a war but the Philippines should really be prepared for what it will bring, but our AFP should have many uses like the air defense system, multirole fighters, submarines, and other ships and necessary defense weapons in the Philippines.